insulin resistance. What is it and how can we reverse it? Good afternoon, friends. If you don't know who I am, my name is Jessica and I engage in conversations about weight loss and how to achieve weight loss in an affordable way that honors people's way of living. I believe in equitable, sustained fat loss and health promotion that should be accessible for all. I am also joining you in this uh, journey as I am in the process of losing an additional 6% of body fat after losing 25% of body fat already. People with insulin resistance have built up a tolerance to insulin, making it uh, making the hormone less effective. Because of this, more insulin is needed to engage fat and muscle cells to take up glucose and for the liver to continue to store it. Just why a person fails to respond properly to insulin, insulin is still a mystery, but I suspect it's the lack of availability of tissue to continue to engage in the endeavor of the take up. Uh, this is based on some of the Dr. Atia's comments uh, throughout his podcasts, as well as a couple of uh, studies that I'm gonna uh, put down. Uh, I did also have some um, podcasts, but I can't find them, so um, <laughs> bear with me. <laughs> Regardless, um, in response to the body, in the body's insulin resistance, the pancreas deploys greater amounts of hormone to keep cells energized and glu for blood glucose levels under to keep blood glucose levels under control. This is why people with uh, type two diabetes tend to have elevated levels of circulating insulin. The ability of the pancreas to increase insulin production means that insulin resistance alone won't have any symptoms at first. Over time though, insulin resistance tends to get worse and worse and the pancreatic beta cells uh, that take up insulin can wear out. Eventually, the pancreas uh, no longer produces enough insulin to overcome the cell's resistance. The results of this is higher blood glucose levels and ultimate pre-diabetes and type 2 diabetes. According to Freemat et al., insulin resistance is thought to precede the development of type 2 diabetes by 10 to 15 years on average. Symptoms do vary from tiredness, thirst, skin issues, and slow healing wounds, to name a few. Lifestyle modifications should be primary focus on treating insulin resistance. Nutritional interventions with calorie reductions and avoidance of carbohydrates that stimulate, stimulate excess insulin demand is, a, is the cornerstone of treatment. Physical activity helps to increase energy expenditure and improves skeletal muscle. Um, it's, it, it improves the sensitivity that skeletal muscle would have. Medications also can improve insulin response and, insulin, and reduce insulin demand. On a personal note, uh, discussion of dietary uh, modifications following diet guidelines should be provided with individualization to the patient's preference, paying particularly particular attention to reducing sugar, refined uh, products, uh, and high glycemic index carbohydrates, but not the elimination of it, as it is not realistic. We live in a world of full of processed foods. Healthcare uh, professionals should really engage 
uh, with us, the public, on how to positively manage this, uh, temp these temptations or these things that we've taken up in our, in, in our lives by equalizing them in, a, in morality and importance, neutralizing, for example, McDonald's or other uh, fast foods uh, and saying, absolutely, you can have that, a burger, uh, but maybe once a month, maybe twice a week, rather than taking it out of the equation altogether, make it, it, it just provides more, uh, less of a desirability there and more of a neutrality. And as per Dr. Atia, by definition, insulin resistance is a carbohydrate tolerance disorder. Healthcare providers who are clinically taking care of insulin resistant patients generally suggest diets that focus on macros with emphasis on protein. It does not have to be a ketogenic diet, but slow incorporations of fruits, vegetables, as well as eggs, chicken, legumes can enhance each meal to make up a well-balanced diet. I wish you health and happiness and I will see you on Friday.